Law enforcement. Historically, many of America's police departments have been strained. Their relationship has been strained with their minority communities. And over the past few years, there's been an increased focus on how they can improve. You know, some people think that body cameras are the answer. Uh, some say America needs more diverse police forces. Personally, I think all police should have to always ride segways. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, I think it's adorable. And, uh... <laughs> secondly, you can't shoot anyone because you need both hands to steer. You'd be like, free! Ah! Oh, free! Ah! Oh. <laughs> now, just this weekend, presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg, he had to leave the campaign trail to deal with a police shooting in his own city where many residents have blamed racism for how the police treat black people in their own town. But the sad truth is that this is a nationwide problem. In fact, recently, the Plain View Project did a review of the social media posts of police officers across the country. And the findings are already making waves. This morning, the Philadelphia Police Department under fire. <laughs> 72 of the city's police officers taken off the streets and placed on administrative duty under investigation for allegedly posting offensive and racist statements on social media. The Facebook posts in question contain discriminatory opinions. If our country was all Caucasian, the homicide rate would drop 70%. Perhaps we should be very suspicious of all Muslims in this country, said another. Or encourage violence. It's a good day for a chokehold. Yeah, your reaction is right. Imagine seeing that. The police posting, it's a good day for a chokehold. It's never a good day for a chokehold, all right? Chokeholds don't belong in your workplace. In fact, chokeholds don't belong in any workplace. Like, there's no... Unless maybe you, if you work at the Cheesecake Factory, maybe then. <laughs> yeah. No, after someone's had, like, a slice of cake with 5,000 grams of sugar, that's the only way to calm them down. It's so, like, sir, please, 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 please! <laughs> I know it's tasty. Calm down. Shh. But this study, this study wasn't just focused on Philadelphia, right? This report reviewed the social media of police officers in eight cities and county, counties, right? And they found, they found in all of these eight cities that out of the 3,500 cops' accounts, 853 had posted, posted uh, offensive content. Imagine that, 853 had posted offensive content. Yeah, that's almost a quarter of all of the accounts. And they're just the dumb cops, the ones who put it online. Yeah, because you know the smart cops, the racist ones, they keep it in their DMs. <laughs> so police departments everywhere are realizing that they could have racist cops. And while it is encouraging that cities like Philadelphia are taking them off the streets, the bad news is, elsewhere, they're getting promoted. Controversy in Louisiana, where a police officer who shared a racist image on social media has been promoted to chief. Wayne Welsh made headlines in 2017 when he shared a depiction of a white woman pushing a little girl's face into bath water, supposedly as punishment for having a crush on a black child. Yeah, what the f man? I mean, it's not even just that that's a racist meme. The fact that they made that person, the person who posted that, police chief. How do you post something like that and get a promotion? It's like if someone hijacked a plane and the FAA was like, yeah, you've got talent. You want to fly full-time? Come on. <laughs> and I've, I've got to be honest, like, uh, like, I don't know what's scarier than having a racist police chief. I guess the only thing is realizing that in many places, these officers are just a reflection of their communities. The mayor says the meme is irrelevant now because it was posted nearly two years ago, in July of 2017, when Chief Welsh was assistant police chief. He was disciplined, he was dealt with, and, uh, and then he was reelected, ran unopposed. Well, what does it say about the people of this community that they would elect somebody like that? You know, I was not the mayor back at that time. I understand what you're saying, but I'm not going to elaborate on that. Is this town racist? No, it's not. Do you use the N-word? often, but I don't use it as racist. How is using the N-word as a white man not racist? I don't find it racist. I got plenty of black friends. We all use it. Yeah, we all use it. Yeah, I call my black friends nigger, and they say, stop calling me nigger. <laughs> so, the bad news is that racism is extremely pervasive in America's police departments, and people need to acknowledge that. In fact, it's gotten so bad that Philadelphia has had to suspend 72 of their own cops. The good news is... For those cops, there's definitely a town that'll hire you.